Let's get down to the nitty gritty, my man. The man in the shadows is gonna tell you the real deal now. And that's this, uh, don't do it. Don't <laughs> try to be creative for money because it's not gonna happen. How do you like that? And I don't, I don't want to be, I'm not going to discourage you if this is really what you're going for. I don't want to be that um, black-pilled. But statistically, okay, if I had to pick you out of a hat, I would say that you're not going to make a fucking dime with your stupid music or your stupid videos. And I would, I'll say this about myself when I was 22 as well, okay? So if you, if you work hard enough, this can be can be overcome, but my point is that most people aren't willing to work hard enough. Um, I get a ton of shit. I get all this, I get a ton of, mu the music we get is actually really good, but, um, I get a ton of videos sent to me, people saying, hey, look at what my friends are, are doing, we just, we, we just started, or we've been doing it for years, or whatever, we do stuff that's similar to you, um, and I have no... I have no problem with that. I like I like seeing um, young people doing video stuff, and if it's if it's derivative, if it's like if it's like H three H three Productions or something where it's ripping my style or whatever. How old is H three H three Productions? I have no. Um, uh, I never had a problem with H three Productions. I think he's he's pretty funny, and I didn't really care too much about getting ripped off. Um, but there's a there's I see this all the time, and I'm, I know other other comedians obviously deal with the same thing, where they see people um, biting them or or imitating them, um, which I think is just part of being a young artist and trying to uh, trying to find your um, your voice. Of course it is. I mean, of course it is. That's that's what it's about. Um, so I don't. I definitely don't uh, have any problem with that, but. What I want to say is that some of this stuff is serious shit, and it will never be good. <laughs> so if you, you got to be realistic. Okay, this is when I, when I say don't do it. What I'm really saying is just be brutally realistic with yourself. If you don't have the skills or you don't have um, the work ethic, don't. Just get a regular job, man. Just start making money. Because the thing is, if you get a regular job at like age 17 or as soon as you get out of, out of college or whatever, and you don't, you don't take a two-year or a four-year break or exploration or whatever, I mean, imagine having four years of earnings. That's the difference, That's the difference between 26-year-old artist you and 26-year-old realistic you is... What's four times 40,000 is uh, $160,000. Imagine if you had $160,000 in your pocket right now instead of some shitty Bandcamp page that nobody listens to. Think about that. Imagine if, you had, imagine if you're 26 and instead of doing some half-assed creative thing, you'd been working for four years making money. That's a pretty serious thing. Um, <clears throat> now, if you're dead set on it, if you're if you're if you know that it's what you you got to do, um, don't don't let these words uh, knock knock the wind out of you. But um, if it's something that you just if if these words are able to knock the wind out of you, then maybe you would have half-assed it. In fact, you definitely would have half-assed it, and maybe it's not what you belong doing. Um, there's no, there's f an infinite variety of ways to win at the, the life game, okay? And becoming a, um, becoming a, a semi-internet famous YouTuber is not one of them. Um, s making, making money, building a family, building skills, doing something that, that matters, whether it's uh, you know, a, a work that will stand the test of time or whether it's making a difference in someone, in someone or some group of people's lives or whatever, being, being useful, being useful is, uh, 
what you you might want to strive to do and making making smart financial decisions along the way so you can afford to um go to Chipotle my favorite restaurant and to drive a Prius <laughs> so that's that's my um my blog it's a vlog plus a video so video okay we mash these words together mashable.com check out my video <laughs> Uh, check out my clip, my video right here. Bang, there it is. Um, <clears throat> so hopefully that you got something out of that. If you're if you're a real, if you're the real deal artist, if you're the real deal, don't let this discourage you. If you're about about it, if you're gonna live that lifestyle, if you're gonna if you're gonna grind for ten years and and be the 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 best beat maker that ever lived, man, uh, then go ahead and do that. Obviously, you're going to do it anyway because you wouldn't let me take the piss out of you. You wouldn't let me take the wind out of your sails because you're the man, okay? So you're going to do that. Uh, and if you were... But if you were just some guy who was going to half-ass it, uh, if you were some guy who was going to be 27 years old wondering, whoa, what's up? Where am I? What? Start working. Start making money. Get a job. Get a skill that will make you valuable to an employer, you know? Do something along those lines. And there's no there's no shame in that. That fucking all that you wanna you wanna be famous or you wanna be the best artist or whatever. Fuck that, man. That's a that's a flawed, toxic ambition. That is a that is a, a black, dark, uh <clears throat> toxic ambition. Doing anything for those reasons is the wrong thing. Um, and if you, if you put serious time into pursuing something for those reasons, you're going to end up a fucking jackass and you'll probably, you'll probably end up in Hollywood. You'll probably end up in LA or Brooklyn, which is where you belong because you're a fucking dumbass. Um, oh yeah. Okay. I guess that's about it. So I hope you found something uh, from this, uh, video. I hope you found something in this video. Take away, and uh, it was useful. Uh, and if you don't, if you didn't like.